We're still at the Bright Centre for their open day on Thursday the 27th of August and out in the car park we've got Leicester Library's fantastic book bus and we might as well speak to Paul Gobi again. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well. Good, good. Right, I caught you out in the car park this time. So tell us a little bit about the book bus and specifically about what you're going to be doing uh, this evening. Well, the book bus tonight is going around its normal runs around, uh, around the Bronson Estate. Uh, the book buses have been running since 1981 and this is the third version of them. They're a bit like Doctor Who's. Every, every so often we sort of reinvent them. They change and they morph change. into something It's basically else. the same service, which is a mobile library for children that goes around key areas in Leicester to give kids direct access to books. And it's my favourite bit of Leicester Libraries. I used to love it when I was at Belgrave. Mondays, they used to book bus all day. And it's still going strong. And it's still so popular. It's a special library for kids. It comes straight on and borrow books. And it runs a weekly service. And it's great. And how many uh, vehicles are there? Is it There's just... actually two. Okay. Uh, we used to just have... Well, we used to have one and then we had two uh, we've got one it's just an under fives book bus which serves children's centres earlier settings all around the city obviously runs sort of nine and I think it was times. that one that we photographed at Lamella was that yes, right that that's the one that was at Lamella this yeah. one was in having its uh, something with a few repairs are going on going on to it mm. this one is the children's book bus mm. which serves children from well naught to up to about 11 years okay. and there's a timetable it goes out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays Fridays is sort of garage day and on each night there's about 10 stops largely serving the the outer states because that's where people haven't got easy access to, to the libraries and also where we feel there's, there's real need for the kids to have that little extra incentive to get involved in books and reading the library service it's their own service it's a bit more flexible you know the libraries are fun places but the book bus is it's sort of kids own special place okay and i understand on your last two stops this evening you're being joined by a special guest we are the lord mayor's coming out to see us he's been visiting a few libraries and uh, he let us know that he wanted to come out on the book bus. He actually came on it when the play day was held down at the Town Hall Square. That's right, which is when I think um, the last time we caught up with some of your probably, colleagues probably in there. there. Um, but he wants to see what the book bus does, if you like, every other day okay. when he actually goes out and loads the books to the kids. So we're going to have him down for a, for a couple of stops at the end of the evening. Brilliant. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to embarrass everybody and I'm going to walk onto the book bus and pan around so everyone can see what it looks like. And then I can, then they can, I can wave to all of them. So let's go up into the book bus so if anyone hasn't seen it before. It's got some seating areas and all the uh, all the bookshelves built in, and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to finish the video with everybody waving. There we go. go. On, Linda, big wave. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.